Tea with Tea Quotes, and I'm here today. It is October 13, 2018, and I'm here with an R&R Ace fabric haul. Today I've had a very long, busy day. I actually dropped my Elagio sewing machine off at the repair center for basic clean and oil, and then I went to R&R Ace, and then I'm just now coming back from a memorial service, but I wanted to get this video up. Because the sale goes through to October 22nd, 2018. So if you're in the St. Louis metropolitan area, the surrounding counties of St. Louis, then you may want to go and get part of this deal. The fabric is on sale right now for $3.33 a yard. So I actually spent $300. And I am not taking sole responsibility for this. Miss Bonita Nance is going to help me take this because she wanted me to go do some shopping for her. And so because I was there, of course, I went ahead and got something for me. So let me go ahead and point this camera down and we can get this haul started. Before we get started with the video, I did meet a YouTube subscriber to my channel that had seen a previous R&R Ace video, so I would like to put that picture up so you can see her. And now we'll get started with the haul. And I just wanted to come on and do some verification. When I bought the last fabrics that I purchased last year, I actually made jelly rolls with the fabrics and then I gave them to my immediate circle quilting friends as Christmas gifts and they really love them and I happen to have a few extra left over I got two and I even gave one away as a door prize so some of these fabrics are gifts so they're going to be gifts either for my scrap quilting club or my immediate circle quilting friends again as well as Miss Bonita Ness is going to get a salute of fabrics as well because she sent me money to shop for her as well so I'm going to start with this bag I took all the other fabrics out of the bag except for this one this is the one where I go to the sale table and it's one dollar per yard so as they mark things down so this is one half yard for 50 cents and it's like some leaves miniature leaves and so since it was just 50 cents I can always use light fabrics in my stash this is one third yard for just 33 cents I'm buying anything pink because I'm in the process of making a pink or I want to make a pink string quilt so I am in the process of collecting anything pink so I figured this would be a great time to get it at a dollar a yard or less so this was 33 cents for a third yard this was a half yard of white and pink, 50 cents. Have seven eighths yards for 88 cents. I'm collector of paisleys as well. And this is three fourths of a yard for 75 cents. Another paisley, three quarters of a yard for 75 cents. Couple more pieces of pink, three eighths yard. This was 38 cents. One fourth of a yard for 25 cents. This one was just a light print that I like. I'm just going to add it into my light scraps. It's one yard for a dollar. Seven eighths yards of this blue for 88 cents. And then three fourths yard of this green at 75 cents. And this fabric here is not uh, cotton but it was two yards and the piece cost two dollars and I thought that maybe it could be used for bags or something like that or any of the Christmas gift things that I recently made videos for online so now I'm going to go ahead and go into the yardage that I got this piece here is about three quarters of a yard is less than 333 but it is actually biblical sayings and you are not going to be able to see it all but it's got the little crosshairs that you can make 
these I mean you can cut these out and put these into quilts and I'm always making religious quilts from my friends and family that I give to them but I just thought that I would show you this panel it's very pretty and I like the sayings on them. so here I have one piece that is a yard and I think this is the only one that I actually got one yard of and if it has anything on the selvage, I will read it for you as well. This one does not have any writing on the selvage. I did check the quality of the material. It's not a super thick material, but it is a very nice feeling material. So I went ahead and purchased it anyway. So anything that doesn't have a name, I did do a material test. So this one is a little bit over a yard. I just bought whatever they had left. Of this print just thought it was pretty and this print is actually a Robert Kaufman print and it is Illumina by Peggy tool and that's all that it states but it's very pretty fabric and so I just bought whatever they had left of that I basically was shooting for two yards of any piece of fabric. So that was kind of my goal. And then I purchased two pieces to use as a gift for a friend who is a videographer. And I thought these were really pretty. So I actually purchased a yard and a half of both of these prints. So let me just show you the back so you don't have it with the sticker on it. <laughs> And both of these fabrics are from Benertex from their canvas collection. Next one here is just slightly less. It's probably one and seven eight yard at 625. And again, it's one of those andoverfabrics.com. And I just am amazed that you can get quality name brand fabrics at $3.33. And then I asked for two yards of this, but she mistakenly cut it into two pieces. So this is two yards of this print. And this print is by Troy Corporation for River Roots Collection. And there was a lot of this particular brand of fabric there. And it's called Go Team. So then I also purchased that same fabric and an orange. The first one was red. And then this one was an interesting print. Still in the two yard area. It's by Benertax as well. But it has like various types of leaves in here. And then they've got the funky colors added to it. I just thought it was different. And I was kind of looking for things this time that might be just a little bit different. This one is pink, but it has little gold specks of highlights. Look like halos, <laughs> ovals. And it is called Oval Findings by RJR Fabrics. So another name brand fabric here. This next one is a uh, little lamps and I thought that was pretty cool to do something if you wanted to make gifts for your quilting friends and this by Windham's fabric and it's called desk job very nice <laughs> next one here is just the dot fabric and it is by Windham Fabrics as well, and it's called Three Quarter Time. This fabric here does not have anything on the selvage, but I thought it was an interesting print to find red with orange, and then it's like some burgundy smaller circles, and then some tads of yellow, very little pink. I just thought the coloration was different. 
This one I thought that I could use with some African print. <laughs> and it's called Graffiti from the Riverwoods collection. So again, it's that brand that I'd never heard of, but the quality of the fabric is pretty decent. Have this yellow one. Again, we're still into yard cuts. And I don't think that it had a name on it. But it was one of those yellows, and I'm pretty sure the camera is not going to pick it up. That's kind of hard to find, and I just thought that it would be a good addition to the sash. This one is a plaid. And let's see who this plaid is by. It's by Benertex. And it's called The Best of Mary Lou by Mary Lou Weidman. And I just thought that it was, again, one of those plaids that was more of a girly plaid. And so you hardly ever come across those where they're pretty and not looking like a male print. This one is another two-yard cut. It doesn't have any... Oh, yes, it does. It's from the Riverwoods collection. It's called Pathways by Mary Fisher. So, again, another pretty fabric here we're still in the two yard cut got three more to show you this one was kind of in the African area and let's see what the salvage on it says it says it's from Benertex it's called Divine Twine by Dover Hill for Benertex and it reminds me of some of the Australian prints that I saw when I was working in the fabric boutique shop at um, AQS, when I was, not AQS, at the IQF, International Quilt Festival in April. And that's why I got that. I thought that was cute. Look more uh, like a foreign type print. This one was, again, one of those that are just one of those different prints and it's from again the river woods collection it's a mary fisher print but i just thought that it had a different coloring it's kind of like a little greenish in here but a yellowish green with some orangey reds very pretty and then i found this fabric and it was all that they had of this piece at a little over two yards and she just gave me the remaining two or three inches but it's the state fabrics with all of the states so do you see your state there you go <laughs> so i of course purchased that i have one piece that i wanted a lot more of and they didn't have any more but i just love this piece of fabric it is a but it's not a boutique because it's not as vibrant on the other side as normal boutiques are. Doesn't have anything on the salvage. So I have no idea what this is. But I just love the coloring. But this was the only piece that they had. And again, I thought this would look pretty good with African print fabrics as well. I purchased this and I got... I wanted three yards and it was about two and seven eighths yard. And so this is going to be for my husband's next quilt i've already made him a bowling quilt but i thought this one would be really good to do for his next quilt i'll be using this as a border so we're into the three yard area at this point this is another print here that i thought would be good with african prints and i'm thinking more like coin type coin style african prints with these things this is another biblical fabric and it I have a lot of machine embroidery designs that I like to do things with like footprints or the serenity prayer and so I love using this type of a print in the background. I think this would be really cool to see some of the biblical words in the piece as it's being created. This one I really wanted to do a stack and whack with, but they did not have enough. But I went ahead and purchased what they had. They had 
like four repeats and so that is what I actually got I like to get designs like this that I can put into my stack and whack area and so if I can't do a full stack and whack with it then what I will do is do like a four patch posy where I'm cutting light squares out and then that would also work so that I could use this fabric as well but it was a little less than four yards so it was three yards and something got another print here and this print was very surprising in that it's got this purple but when you open it up and look at it it starts to be one of those that blends across the fabric so it starts out purple on this side and then ends up blue on this particular side So I got, I asked for four yards of this, and this was all that was on the piece. This one is another one that I was just buying the background. It's actually very light, orangey stripe going through. Thought it would be good as a background on an orange quilt. And then here is another one that I purchased because it was a paisley, and I'm collecting those, and I bought... It was uh, almost four yards of this, and I wanted it as a background, maybe. This piece here, I bought the entire piece, and it has some shimmer to it, and I'm hoping that you can see that. Just very beautiful. It was just one of the different background fabrics that I had not seen before. This is another one that I plan to use with the African fabrics. Again, in something like coins with rolls, I just need to get rid of a lot of scraps that I have with African print. So I thought this would be just fantastic. So I was really looking at stuff for that mostly for myself. And then I also found this red camouflage, which I had not seen. And it wasn't one of those camouflages that are so big and gaudy. And I thought that I could really use this with the Quilt of Valor. And then the last piece that I purchased... It's this print here, and it's more of a floral. And again, this may be weird to some, but I actually purchased this one to use as second whack as well. And this one is actually a print by Jenny Beyer, and it is printed by RJR Fabrics. So my I ran through these last ones because my camera was about to die. So now let me just go back through, and, and I'll keep reading this print here is from Riverwoods and it's called Go Team. It was the same as the one with the state name. And this kind of shimmering background. Let's see if it has, I don't see any words on this. So it has coloring but it doesn't have any words. My white piece here with the orange background is from Michael Miller Fabrics. And it's called Tiny Stitches. So that's pretty cool. This Paisley is called Notting Hill by Paintbrush Studio Pattern. So that one's got a label on it. Let's see if this one had one. This is Mary Fisher of Riverwoods Design. And I don't think there was anything on the salvage on this one. This one here. This one was Budding Beauties. By uh, Ro Greg for Paintbrush Studio, Budding Beauties, and then this one is that's Hollywood, designed by Maria Kalinwoski for Canvas, which is Burner Tax. I thought my camera was gonna run out, so that's why I was zooming through because I didn't want to take the time to stop and start again 
this fabric here the bible study and it is by Benner Tax as well for Canvas Studio or Canvas Fabrics. This is called Big Sky by Dover Hill for Benner Tax. This bowling one is designed by Canvas for ben, by Benner Tax. And I think that is it. I'm hoping that I showed you everything else. But let me just try to slide some of this back into focus for you so you can see what I got <laughs> a little bit <laughs> so these are all of the little pieces more fabric and more fabric I hope you enjoyed this haul this is my first time spending this much money at the shop I'm normally stay somewhere around like the upper 100s like 190 but like I said I found a lot of fabrics and I just had to stop looking because the more you look the more you can find and they even had backing fabrics that were nine dollars per yard which I can find sometimes cheaper online but nine dollars a yard on an everyday basis is very cheap so I thought that that was a good reasonable price as well so that is it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it don't forget to give me that thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends as well i will see you in the next one bye bye everybody